Hello everyone, here's a short video showing how we did fault finding and then carried out a replacement fix for ABS and stability control fault indications that appeared within the dashboard of this model year 2012 Holden VE Commodore. We used a relatively cheap diagnostics dongle and then paired it via Bluetooth to a free app on an Android smartphone to look at the fault codes. The overall process is quite straightforward and it only took a little over an hour to complete from start to finish. We hope you find this video informative. And if you do, please leave us a like or a comment below. This is the dongle that we use which allows the reading of various types of fault codes and performance parameters of the vehicle. This device plugs into the OBD2 port of the vehicle which is found in the upper footwell of the driver's side of the car. We had the engine of the car idling and once the device was inserted into the port you are then able to search for the dongle device from the app on the smartphone to start the diagnostic process. There are numerous free apps available for use from the Android Play Store. So immediately we get feedback for a C0050 fault code indicating that the right rear sensor is the problem. Although like most things there is not necessarily a definitive binary answer to any one specific problem and from what we've come to understand there is still a possibility that a dirty drum face, that being the face that the sensor needs to read, could be causing the problem. The concept is that a sensor is reading a notched ring or drum that then provides the basis of a digital signal to allow the ECU to determine the speed and characteristics of the wheel being monitored. In the end we use compressed air to clean out the drum face as well as replacing the sensor for good measure. Here are the sensors. They were sourced from Amazon. They're around $15 each, so very cheap. I got two of them because they had to come from the other side of the world, and why not? Okay, the right rear wheel is about to come off. Note the use of a hydraulic jack and an axle stand for safety. A little difficult to provide a decent camera angle but we do manage in a second where I'll describe as much as possible for what you're seeing and what we experienced. That's the sensor mounting hole where the 6mm fastener holds the body of the sensor to the vehicle. Just below this there's another small opening that accommodates the sensor probe. This is the sensor wiring harness and its anchor saddle which was placed temporarily out of the way. The upper arrow points to the harness plastic saddle that we unfortunately broke by trying to lever it directly upwards from its mount. That's the mount position for the harness plastic saddle. I suggest to try twisting the saddle in a clockwise direction after releasing the sensor retaining clip to free the harness. Didn't really matter in the end as we used appropriate sized cable ties to secure the harness once the replacement sensor was in place. Here we are securing the new replacement sensor to the vehicle. There it is, sensor fitted and harness reconnected and secure. Now to check that the C0050 fault code has cleared from the Bluetooth app, that there are no new faults present, put the wheel back on the car, obviously, and then take the car for a test drive and monitor the situation to confirm that the fix is permanent. Thanks for watching. We've included links in the description below for the items used with the fix for this ABS and stability control problem.